What's that? Ooh. Oh, it's pretty. Welcome. What I have here is no ordinary laptop. It looks like one, but it really isn't. This is the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i, and let me take you through all of the various things that it can do. I, it's, it, anyway, it's exciting. I can't wait. Um, so, first of all, this is a laptop. It looks like a laptop, it folds like a laptop, but as you might have noticed, it has two screens. Yeah, there's a lower 13 inch and an upper 13 inch screen, or side by side as we might get to a little bit later. Um, this is the first actually usable double screen laptop that I've come across. Um, this is, uh, yeah, let me just show you all the things it can do and then we'll talk specs and much more. This is a laptop, but as you might have noticed, it's hard to type on because there's two screens. So what you can do is that you use 10 fingers, like so, bloop, and now you have a full keyboard at the bottom. Now this is an on-screen keyboard, but you can type with it and it comes with a trackpad as well, so you can use the mouse as well. So full trackpad, left, right, mouse button, keyboard, everything is here. Just tap 10 fingers, or is it eight? Anyway, many fingers. Um, if you don't like that, you just want the mouse, you can also just tap it three, and then there's just the mouse pad at the bottom, just like that. Um, that's, oh, and, and look at this, look, look, when, when you, when you open it, they have these magic wallpapers, so the, the butterfly is actually moving its wings. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, of course, uh, we can also fold this as a tablet. So if you fold it, you see that one side turns the screen off and the other side becomes just a tablet and you can use it with touch like any other tablet. Uh, we can also do this, which is the tent. Um, there we go, and it turns on, and that means that you can actually have, it's, you can see that they're both, the bottom is at the bottom on both sides, if that makes sense. But for example, you could have PowerPoint on this, and you can have your presenter notes on one side, and you have to slice on the other side if you're in a meeting, um, or you could watch two different movies, I guess. But you can have this as a sort of a presenter mode as well. So this is the, what yoga comes with. So if you have ever seen a yoga laptop before, all the yokas will do those. That's kind of the whole idea is has those four modes. So of course, this isn't always uh, gonna be that useful on screen keyboard. So it comes with a physical keyboard as well. And as you'll see, when you clip it on uh, here, this, the computer, the laptop knows that the keyboard's on and you get the trackpad at the bottom and you now have a physical keyboard as well. So it's more of a traditional laptop feel. You can also move the keyboard down here and then you get these two sort of widgets at the top here. You can change these if you want. Uh, currently one has the weather and the other one is sort of a news things. But you could build your own widgets or you can have various many wid widgets on there uh, and you can use those um, for whatever purpose you want. And of course, uh, it also works just off the laptop as well. So now you have two screens and you have a standalone keyboard. And then if you don't like that trackpad on the screen, it also comes with a mouse. And the mouse uh, actually connects to two different um, devices as well. There's one of the new modern Bluetooth devices that connect to multiple things. Uh, and then we have a full laptop. Um, now. The real party trick, and this is what gets you a lot of attention if you do this, which I have on various transport modes of transportation, is that it comes with the keyboard cover. So this is where you would normally have the keyboard in, like so, etc. But, you ready? <laughs> if we fold this, because it has magnets in it, like so, and then we put that here, we now have a stand for dual screen laptop. And I can now also clip this on there. So now it all works together. And I've actually used this on the train with great success. It's so handy when you're traveling to have the two screens. You know, you'll have your notes on one and whatever you're writing or an email on one and a website on the other or whatever it is that you, whatever your workflow dictates, you have two screens 
of goodness that you can use. And of course, this is quite compact. I've used it on a plane, I've used it on a train, I've even used it on a bus. Um, and it's super stable because these magnets just work. You can see it, it really doesn't fall over. Um, so that's, and then if, if you don't want you know, top and bottom, what you can also do is you can actually have it in book mode. So if I take this and I'm turning it this way, now the screens are side by side and you have two screens side by side, which is really useful if you have a Word document, for example, on one side and you have a website on the other and you're writing whatever you're doing. That mode is really useful as well. So there's just tons of ways that you can use this. Um, and of course, it doesn't end there because there's also a pen, so if you are a uh, artist or if you are, have any sort of artistic capabilities, which I don't, uh, you can use this as well for drawing and for writing on the, on the tablet. There's a fully functional um, active pen as well that you can use. Um, so it's just, it's just incredible. And now I've used this extensively um, on overseas trips. Um, I was just away for two weeks where I brought this as my main device and I even used it for presenting from it at a big conference. Um, it just, it really just does everything. Um, and it does it well. Like it's, some of these things are often very gimmicky, but in this case, it, it actually works. Especially I use it in this mode here with the two screens and it just makes my everyday so much easier. Uh, when I'm traveling because of the two screens, to be honest. And, and it's just, it's stable. It's really stable. Yeah. Let's cover the specs on this thing because, well, we want to know what the specs are, right? So this has a 13 gen i7 processor. Uh, and as far as I'm aware, that's it. You can't choose another processor for it. It has 16 gigs of RAM. That's the same thing. You can't upgrade that RAM. It's soldered onto the board. Uh, you can choose between half a terabyte or 512 gig or one terabyte hard drive. Um, so there is some choice there. Or you can choose Windows 11 Home or Professional. Um, so not a whole lot of choice. This is a very first gen device. So maybe that's why they sort of limited the configurations of it. Um, the only color you can get it is this very nice. It is really pretty uh, green called Tidal Teal. Um, which I would be perfectly happy with. It is, it's, I don't know if it comes across on the camera, but it is a very, very pretty color. Uh, and not the usual black or gray. Hello! Um, it has um, three Thunderbolt 4 ports. So there's one on this side here, sits there. That's also usually where I charge it. And then there's two on the other side. So not a whole lot of ports, but we can extend those with docking stations and being Thunderbolt, there's a fair amount of throughput in them. Um, so that, that hasn't been a problem for me. I haven't had any issues with, with port usage. That's been fine. I plug it into my uh, Lenovo Curve monitor. If you saw that video, I bought this massive 49 inch curved screen and this works just fine with that as well, which kind of defeats the purpose of having the two screens, but we'll gloss over that. Um, and then it has Wi-Fi 6E. So it has very, very modern Wi-Fi, which I also went through. So if you're not familiar with Wi-Fi 6E, you can use the link right there to uh, learn more about what that means and why that is pretty cool to have. Um, so it'll use the six gigahertz Wi-Fi band. Uh, battery life, I actually have charged it very little. Um, it lasts a lot longer than my X1 Extreme that I use as well as a daily driver, but I get oh, maybe six, seven hours out of it or something with, with pretty decent use. Um, apparently, if you turn one of the screens off, you can get more than that. I don't know why you would do that, but yeah. Uh, decent battery life, I would call it. Not amazing, but decent, definitely. Um, and then it has Bluetooth um, and it weighs uh, 1.34 kilograms. So it feels a little bit heavy, but again, we are talking two screens. Um, so I think that's all right. Um, if you are in the US, 1.34 kilograms is a different number in pounds and ounces and whatever else there is. Um, so I think it's, it's really decent specs. Um, I would like to up it to 32 gig just to make it a little bit more user friendly for me. Um, but it's definitely perfectly usable for your everyday Word documents and websites for sure. Um, um, all right, so let's move on to the software. So I've got you on my shoulder here because that's probably the best way to show the software. I've already shown you a few, like there's the eight finger 
salute here to get the keyboard up. What you can also do is you can actually change the um, opacity of the keyboard, which is kind of nice. So you can see the background through it. You can change the vibration and you can actually have sound on it. So if you want to type on it, which is not my thing. So I turn the sound off. Uh, it's just a little dick dick clank, sort of clicky sound. Um, so because it's not that intuitive at first, obviously who, who knows how to press with eight fingers, there is a user center here, which is very helpful for first time users. So in here you can see there's the dual screen interaction. It says here, well, work efficiently. So using by one screen for video meetings, another for meeting notes. So it gives you sort of clues on how you might use the software or the two screens. You can also choose the study and it'll give you the two side by side. Here as a book format, mobility, you know, those are just the, the features that I showed you before as well. So you can, you can get a sense for how you could use it. There's some features. So window management, this is probably one of the important ones. And it'll tell you how do you, to manage the windows. So for example, if I wanted to move this down, if I drag this, you can see there's a little icon comes up here and it just pops down the bottom here. So the same again, if I wanted to go back up, you just use that little icon on there. That works with both mouse and with the touch as well. Um, otherwise, what you can also do, if you hold it there, you can see you get the uh, built-in native Windows 11 uh, splits here. So you can choose where to put the windows, such like that. So that is, it works really well. Um, I've used this up and down quite a bit if I want to move windows around. Uh, part of me would like to just sort of swipe it and do like this, but then it just closes it. So that's not, um, but that, I would like that to go up and down. Anyway, um, then there is some, uh, some AI type things that, they, that Lenovo is trying to put in. One's a smart note, one's a smart reader. So the smart notes here is, uh, as it says here, handwritten note taking software. So if we open that, which is just over here, um, smart note, put it up here. Normally you would have it on the bottom screen to, to write on it, but you can see welcome to smart note. And this will actually transcribe it using um, handwriting recognition, um, stuff like that. So there, there's a bit of, um, we can see the toolbar here. Um, there's a bit of software that will try and, and make more use of the dual screen setup here. Um, and there's also a smart reader. Uh, which is just a default reader. Um, click the open button and start reading. Okay, yeah. So we can open documents in that and that's just a, a smart reader doc document. Um, so let's just go back to the user center. Uh, there's some dual screen settings here. We can change a whole bunch of things and this is where more and more stuff will come um, as we progress. For example, we have the dual screen wallpaper, which I showed you. There's live wallpaper, which is the, uh, the butterfly here that opens as the screen moves. But you can also have other um, wallpapers here. So you can see that, oops, there we go. So that again has two different um, images. So that looks kind of nice. So we can change them if that's what we want. Um, but that will come over time. And obviously this is just personalization. Uh, there's some settings for the virtual keyboard, the virtual touchpad, the widget bar, et cetera, et cetera. So all of those different settings for the bespoke software for this uh, device uh, in this app, this user center here. There's a new feature preview and you can see we're getting uh, dual screen static wallpapers, which is that one. There's more widgets. Um, there is a smart meeting minute. So it says that when you enter a team or Zoom, it's been note taking options are automatically displayed. So there are some, some clever things trying to guess what you would like to do as you use the device. Um, but that is a, a, just a bit of the software. Other than that, it is a stock Windows 11. Um, there's nothing fancy about it other than that. Just a little bit of a hint to how you can use this dual screen setup more efficiently. Um, so not over the top, not, um, and actually I haven't used it much because it's pretty intuitive. You get used to it really quickly, you know, using the eight fingers um, or the three or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so yeah, pretty good software. Actually, it doesn't interfere too much with your day to day. So I do want to touch on just a couple of things that are not optimal for this uh, device that are a little bit annoying. The first thing is that when you use the mouse uh, on the trackpad, uh, if you have full like keyboard and mouse on the bottom screen, the mouse still goes down on the bottom screen. So suddenly you don't know where the mouse is and it's because it's on the bottom screen. You're actually controlling the mouse, which is on the touchpad with the touchpad. It gets confusing and sometimes you can't find the mouse. That's probably just a software issue. I'm sure that we'll be able to fix that in software very soon, but that did bother me at times. Uh, and then the other thing is that 
It is a little bit clumsy to carry around. It's not as portable as you'd like it to be because you have a mouse, then you have this keyboard in the holder, which obviously you need, or this, this, this case, you need that to fold it so you can put the screen upright. But you see when you have all this, it's not as elegant as, as just having that, right? It, it's, it's less portable, but I don't see any other way. I kind of need the keyboard to be efficient when I'm on the go. So uh, I'm not sure how to solve that. It's just a little bit clumsy maybe uh, carrying it around. Other than that, I can't really fault it. Um, I'm, I'm quite impressed to be honest. Again, it is one of the first devices I've seen with two screens that makes sense. Hmm, yeah. Who is this for? This is one of the, the questions I've been trying to answer because who, who would buy this? Who would say, yeah, that's exactly the right device for me? And I'm not sure I have the answer, if I'm honest. Um, there's, there's a lot of potential in this device and I, I don't think I've even scratched the surface personally. I've used it for about a month, pretty much every day. Um, but it is for people that are on the go. I think this is not a laptop that you have in a static location. It is one that you're carrying around and you probably won't use all of the different functions and features and ways to set it up, but you'd use a few. Um, I use the dual screen a lot and I use the keyboard on the screen a lot. Those two are probably the my go-to. I don't use the virtual keyboard. I find it not as fast or efficient, but it's probably just a matter of getting used to it. Um, but yeah, I think this is not a replacement for a desktop necessarily, even though it's got two screens. Uh, it is a travel device like most other laptops, um, but if you're just using it for sitting on the couch um, and you know coding or whatever I do, oh, maybe you don't need it, but if you are used to two screens and you aren't always in the same location working, this is so good. It is really, really good. Um, so I think that's probably what it's for. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know below in the comments um, because I am still learning about this. Um, unfortunately, I do have to send it back to Lenovo now. I've used it for quite a while. Now it's someone else's turn. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Would you use this device? Um, what is lacking? What else do you need on it? Let me know in the comments. And uh, as always, if you like this kind of content about tech devices and all sorts of networking, home automation, home automation, laptops, Lenovo things, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, other than that, I've enjoyed this. I think this is a fantastic device and I hope you like it too. Otherwise, let me know. See you in the next video. Bye.